Good morning, children. Welcome to science class. So, in science, we are learning the block 21, which is matter and its properties. Isn't it, children? And in this, we have learned what is matter and matter is made up of small particles. Isn't it, children? And now, in the third topic, we are going to learn how these particles are arranged so that it has different states of matter. Okay? So, arrangement of particles in different states of matter. So, children, according to the arrangement of these particles, the matter is divided into three parts. Okay? Solid, liquids and gaseous. Okay? Or gas. Okay? Now, open your science content book, children, and turn to page number 132. 132. Okay? If the small particles are packed tightly and there is no space in between the particles then they are called as solids okay when the particles are tightly packed and there is no space between them it is called solids and the particles in the solids will have very little freedom to move around okay they can't move because there is no space in between them isn't it so as there is no space in between them they don't move and because of that they these solids have fixed shape and fixed size okay they cannot be compressed easily more we can't compress compress means to press so that it takes less space but for solids as they are already tightly packed we can't compress them okay and they don't flow also okay for example the tables chairs books anything these are all the particles are very very tightly packed because of that we can't press them and they don't flow and they have a solid shape and size fixed shape and size okay as well as the volume okay now coming to liquids in liquids the particles are little far from each other can you see here children how the particles are packed here but can you see some spaces in between these particles so here the particles have little freedom to move around okay when compared to solids here they have more space they are little space between them so that they can move freely little freely and because of that this shape of the liquids can be changed easily okay so if you pour the liquid into a glass it takes the shape of the glass that's why it is changing and if you take another glass if you take a bigger glass or a bowl the shape again there also changes so because of the free movement of the particles in it we can change the shape of the liquids that's why they don't have a fixed shape okay but the volume is same so the amount of liquid it is thus that amount will be the same so the volume is fixed okay so uh, as you can see the milk the water if they spill then you can see that milk will be flowing the water will be flowing isn't it so that is because the particles are have some gap in between them some space in between them so that they can flow okay next you have gas so the particles in the gas are very free okay they are very far from each other can you see the space in between the particles here children yes they are very free the particles are not arranged in a proper way there is no regular arrangement they have maximum freedom to move okay that's why the gases does not have any shape or any volume okay so they take up all the space available even the amount is same but they take up the space a lot that's why they don't have a fixed volume or fixed shape and these particles can also move in different directions okay they can move in different directions and they are highly compressible that means we can press them that's why we have compressed national gas cng so these gas can be compressed can be pressed okay and this property of gases helps us to fill the cylinders okay 
and large volume of gas can be compressed and put in the cylinders that's why it is easier for us to fill the cylinder with gases okay even though the gases the larger the volume and we can put them in a smaller space okay oxygen cylinders cng just now i mentioned lpg uh, all these are examples of gases that can be used by compressing them okay so these are the different properties of the matter okay solids liquids and gases and this gases and liquids are called as fluids okay because they can flow because they have the ability to flow liquids and gases are called as fluids okay children so this is about our topic for today children i have given few keywords in your daily schedule please learn them and write it in your class work and underline in your content book and if you find any other word which is difficult for you you can add it in your keywords okay coming to your question answers describe the arrangement of particles in three states of matter that is solids liquids and gases in solids the particles are very closely tightly packed they cannot move in liquids these particles here the particles are not closely packed they can move and in gases the particles are loosely packed they can move in all directions okay children so next question what property of gases help them to fill to be filled in the cylinders because they can be easily compressed they can move in all direction and they can be easily compressed because of that property gases can be filled in the cylinders okay next one what would happen if the solid state had not existed that means we can't have anything like tables chairs trees fruits all these are solids only you no know, children so the food items the vegetables the fruits the furniture we are using all this will not be would not be existent if the solid state would not had its existed isn't it so write these three answers in your class work and please learn them children coming to your homework complete the volume book children there are two pages of volume book here s3 how are particles arranged in page number 25 and s4 why different properties page number 26 okay so with this we have completed with our block children so in the next class i'll meet you with the new block children see you in the next class bye